<laughs> what is up everybody welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of let's play the sims 4 parenting predicaments i have zero plans for this episode literally zero we're going into this blind i can't wait to see what happens but right now i noticed that leo yeah he's feeling he's feeling a little pressured by the set expectations with parents leonardo is so stressed he feels paralyzed because of these expectations maybe a talk with his parents will help it'll be a tough conversation but a much needed one i'm not really sure what expectations he's talking about because ever since pablo left like things have been a little more chilled a little more relaxed i don't know maybe he feels some type of pressure with his mom pregnant or i don't know like he has to keep up appearances or be the good kid or something because he doesn't want to let her down i'm not really sure but right now jen she needs to make some dinner because people are starting to get hungry in this house we're gonna clean up we're gonna come over and we're gonna serve what can we make uh i think i'm gonna actually make some let me see hold on a second she just discovered that she likes age music sure i have no idea what that is but that's fine if you like it girl i ain't gonna tell you otherwise we're gonna make we're gonna make some fish tacos that actually sounds really good i know when you're pregnant you're supposed to like not have fish right at all because it's mercury but this is the sims i'm actually really surprised that they let you do that because they don't let you do anything else if you're pregnant right now we have sophia working pretty hard on her homework she's almost done she really would like to finish a painting and she really wants to flirt with lucas even though i'm not a huge fan of their relationship i think i'm just gonna let it take its course and sophia's responsibility is now officially in the range to earn the responsible tree i'm so excited for her let me just check on a couple of things really quick we have actually completed our advancement tasks for our um, after school activity and then what else what else what else oh she's actually feeling pretty tired too so maybe we'll call like lucas and you know give him a little give him a little chit chat oh loma holy crap i totally forgot we got a cat in that last episode well i didn't forget because she's so cute where is she oh my gosh i didn't even see her she's snug going up to the trash oh my god that's horrible i need to i need to have uh leo come over here and grab her really quick and bring her inside we need to buy some supplies for her what is she doing okay i'm so confused greta is on my mom's bed playing with some clay i'm not sure what kind of foreplay that is but it's a little bit creepy i'm, I'm not gonna lie all right so let's hop into let's hop into the build by catalog right now and oh my god i don't know what's going on it's already chaotic like i try to have chill episodes and it just doesn't happen like ever for me because i don't think chill and jen i don't think i don't i don't think we coexist like ever and sophia is sleeping what the heck all right so we're gonna grab like the mr tinkles litter box it's literally 25 simoleons so there's no excuse as to why we can't have um a little litter box for loma except for the fact that i have no place to put this litter box so then what do i do i mean nobody's sleeping on this side of the bed so i guess having the shitter right next to where we lay our head at night makes a lot of sense i'm gonna go and change it up at least try to make it look cute we'll, we'll do pink and then for the kitty bowl i'm gonna grab a pink i'm gonna do a pink little fishy kitty bowl yes i'm just gonna we're gonna ball out because like loma is like our, our little baby basically now this house was not made for so much active Activity, let me tell you speaking of which I've noticed a lot of people picking up the scenario and I think it's so Cool to watch other people play and just see like how different their experience is versus mine I actually am thinking of creating a house Specifically for this scenario because you already get the sims But you don't get the house even though I have this one up on the gallery at gen 2606 I think it'd be a lot of fun to make one specifically for this challenge So if that's something you're interested in let me me know but i feel like that should be enough toys for now or maybe we should also pick up a little yarn ball we'll grab a yarn ball too because i really want loma to have a bunch of activities and then once jennifer is out of the bathroom we're gonna have her like fill up her bowl we need to clean up the counters too and what are we gonna do about this Aaron situation <laughs> she still hasn't told Pablo but like you know a lot of you guys were saying she should tell Pablo like he's gonna freak out he's gonna yeah no he would freak out that's exactly why she doesn't want to tell Pablo as far as she's concerned Pablo and her are no mas they are no more like he has no right to know anything about her personal life you know what I'm saying? So like, why would, why would, why would she tell him? I don't know. But one thing is for certain, we definitely should have a chit chat with uh, Aaron. <laughs> I don't want to. 
I don't want to. So maybe we'll just wait a little bit longer. So what is it that we need to do? So I noticed that we need to summon an urban myth, right? And I think in order to do that, we actually need to raise our mischief skill. I think we may be able to do that uh, via the web, but unfortunately our, our needs are just in the or in the negative so I'll probably have to like worry about that a little bit later um y'all did give me some ideas for like dates and stuff and they were all like you know very chill and um you know kind of casual so maybe I'll work on some of those too as well so we can kind of max out at least one of these aspiration goals here now Jen she's asleep and she wants to have a boyfriend or girlfriend she also wants to go on two dates I'm not worried about her aspirations so much but I am worried about, about her job but we need to have her finish standing in the soft shadow of an EAPA because I want to see this book published. I really do. She also wants to chat with somebody. See, I'm telling you, she wants to talk to Erin. She's having like regrets about keeping this pregnancy a secret. The only people that know she's pregnant is her kids. That's it. That's all that knows. Who the heck is this? Wait, did Erin just crawl through our fucking bedroom window? Oh my God. God, he's so creepy. What do we do? Like, we cannot ignore this situation. I feel like we need to shout some forbidden words at Aaron. Like, dude, read the room. Where are your boundaries? There's no way in hell this man just crawled through our son's bedroom window. Jennifer's like, Aaron, what are you doing? What are you thinking? He's like, I'm sorry, Jen. You've just been, you've been ignoring my phone calls. You haven't returned any of my texts or my emails. So you thought it was appropriate to climb through my son's window? Make it make sense Erin well if you want to know why I've been ignoring you the truth of the matter is I'm just not ready to be in any type of relationship I feel goofy for what happened the other night and even more so just utterly embarrassed for the simple fact that I'm pregnant he's like you're pregnant that's amazing that's incredible Jen why would you keep it a secret I'm still I'm still having a hard time swallowing the you crawl through my window pill I really am and then Vlad is just jumping into this equation like the mediator I can't I, I just I can't I really can't process what the freaking heck is going on right now now that the cat's out of the bag Aaron really does want to be a part of the baby's life he has every intention of being an active father but Jen is just feeling really creeped out right now I'm gonna have her go to bed because this is just way too much to handle all the commotion has woken up Leo as you would expect I'm gonna have him go to sleep too I'm gonna put the tacos in the fridge and I'm gonna call it a damn night last night was a literal nightmare this morning's even worse <laughs> all of our bathroom appliances have decided that they no longer wanted to function or put up with our ish the only thing that is surviving at this point is the toilet and Sophia woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning but she really wants to ask Lucas out and remember earlier I said that that we would just kind of roll with it and whatever happens happens we would just you know take it as it comes all right i get the message she definitely wants to like make things a little more official with him so for her she just needs to reach level three of an after school activity earn and keep an a all of these things are kind of like you know so, like self self-sufficient I, I they 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 they, they, they oh god i am just mm -hmm. they uh basically do it themselves <laughs> You know, okay, so I'm gonna have Jen wake up because I'm feeling all sort of like flustered right now. She needs to use the bathroom, and now Sophia is in here. I don't know what Sophia is doing, but I need Leo to work on his mischief skill today. Something fierce because. Well, I don't think he's able to summon that, mer that, 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 oh my gosh, the pregnancy brain, that urban legend without reaching a specific level of the mischief skill. So we're just going to do some very light teasing this morning. We're going to monkey around. We are going to, um, let me see, impersonate mermaids. Hopefully none of this really ruins their relationship. And wait, their relationship is, is, is that bad? There's no way surely that's a mistake we need to turn this around because i don't actually think that they would be enemies at all so we're gonna send all students alone or maybe we should go with leo so he can pick on some kids at school i'm actually gonna send all of them by themselves because i can't be bothered jennifer's got to come in here and figure out exactly how she's going to repair all of these appliances i think i'm just gonna have her repair them herself we definitely want to spend some time with little lomi so i'm gonna pet and i'm gonna snuggle we're gonna give treat we're gonna offer a friendship and i think i also want to maybe like simstagram her i guess because she's so cute i love it and while we're 
still relatively in a good mood, I definitely want to try to finish that book and wait, what is this? Chat with Pablo. Did you have a revelation last night? Maybe doing the right thing is what you should do after all. Is that the right thing? I don't know if that's the right thing. Maybe I take that back a little bit. This speaker constantly keeps getting put on and it's like throwing me off. Oh, whoa. And then Loma has uh, 18 Instagram followers. That's crazy. So yeah, talking talking to Pobs about uh, being pregnant. That's the, that's going to be a task for the books. Let me tell you, but let me see. I thought for sure we would have to go to work today, but we actually have another 24 hours or so until we have to show up for our shift. I'm going to come over and finish this book. It's like literally my life's mission to do this. And I think I can, oof, maybe I should make some more friends just for the simple fact that I can bully them. I know that's kind of messed up, but Leo's really owning this mischievous side of him. I turn my back for two seconds and Jen is having an emotional breakdown and I just feel like I need to be here for her. <laughs> like this is so overwhelming. I feel really bad for this woman. I mean, not necessarily because she kind of got herself into this predicament, literally, um, but just overall for like her failed marriage and stuff. I feel, I feel pretty bad about that. I had to do it, you guys. I had to do it. I had to retire the speaker because because that thing was getting on my last damn nerve. But then I noticed we have like a bunch of work rewards in here. A part of me would like to keep them, but also the other part of me that's a little bit greedy thinks that we should sell them. And oh my gosh, look at the uh, look at the simoleons racking up right now. We even have a Milton word processor, which actually has a lot of benefits to it, but I'm going to sell that too. And then the Timeless Silver Prom Memorabilia. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. Leo got some memorabilia from prom. Well, I'm not going to sell that. I am going to sell the VIP bucket and the Nutcracker, and then I guess I could leave uh, the old paintings behind. Hey, Jen, it's Aaron. Sorry to bother you. I just have a quick question for you. Um, do you remember that Kayla Fleming from work? You know, I've been thinking about it and uh, I think she's I think she's pretty cute should I ask her out <laughs> Aaron 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 I don't know what shit you're trying to pull right now but I think you know I think you should go for it I really do have fun knock your socks off tell her I said I hey Jen it's Aaron again thank you for suggesting I hang out with Marcus Flex we had a spectacular time I'm convinced that that's a glitch like I'm convinced now because it happened to me in my pepper legacy it ended up actually being the person that I had hooked the Sims up with, but for some reason that middle text, it always like screws up the name. I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, Sophia is off to computer team. Greta is just hanging out. I swear she's over here every single freaking day. But let me invite over Jace because as much as I don't want to be mean, uh, Leo for some reason doesn't like him and wants to pick on him. We're probably going to be like the most hated kid at school to be honest. But at this point, I don't really care. We're going to even mock his outfit. Can we mock his outfit? Wait, hold on. I think I might have actually seen. Wait, there's tell an urban legend, but there isn't the ability to summon one, which I get. I just I don't know how this works. He's about grades. Um, what else can I do? I, can, I think I can scare mischief. This is mischief, right? Like, yes. Okay. I'm like so confused. Let me just see if I'm doing this right. To summon an urban myth, I need to click on a sim and select urban myth from the mischief category. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we just, like I said, don't have a high enough level yet. Team practice. Another classmate who has skipped a few classes asks Sophia to hack their grades for an improved score. While the programming challenge is a good one, should Sophia take the risk and let another student use her skills for their own devices? Absolutely not. Do not do it. Sophia humbly declines the challenge. Her fellow classmate will just have to attend the class like everyone else or ask another sim to hack the system. Sophia just got home and I forgot to tell you that we finally finished the standing in the soft shadows of an EAPA. We're going to go and publish that. And then I noticed that the football team sports day is starting, which is like a nice little event. I think that Leo would like to go to. So basically we can build up skillful football throws and be the winner. Um, Sims with higher fitness and positive moods, fumble and score more highly. It's probably pointless for Leo to go, but it actually just sounds like a lot of fun. And he's reached level two of the mischief skill. So that's also really exciting. I'm going to bring Greta with us just for the simple fact that I don't think my mom would really appreciate me leaving Greta at the house, but we'll see what it's about. And I also thought this would be a good opportunity to maybe work on the mischief skill, but like, I don't want people to hate Leo. It just sucks that that's like a part of his aspiration. I was just about to comment on how much trash he had in his inventory. And then like autonomously, he decided to 
clean it out. So I like that he's a little bit of a clean freak. Now, here is the football festival. We've got a bunch of footballs. We have um, like a little kiosk where we can browse items. We can also purchase some food or drink. And we can purchase unique high school festival clothing. This is perfect because I am feeling a little famished. And we can actually grab a superfood smoothie. I had no idea that they had smoothies and shakes in the game now. That is super cool. I wish we had like a smoothie machine maker. I think that would be a lot of fun for athletic sims or just sims that are kind of like health conscientious. More than anything, this is just me being kind of curious about like what this festival is all about, even though it'd be kind of fun to experience this with Ollie because he's actually in football. But there's our little, there's a little uh, super fruit smoothie. It's absolutely freaking delicious. And I'm sorry, <laughs> excuse me, sir. He's getting super impatient because I'm over here trying to enjoy my smoothie and I'm hogging up the freaking line. Oh, we do not like each other off the bat. Okay, this is perfect. I feel a lot better <laughs> about being mean to this dude than Jace because Jace did literally nothing. We are going to go hard in the paint with this one. We're going to trick him with a hand buzzer. We're also going to um, invite him to a fake party. Yeah, we're going to make Mr. Cool feel real hot here in a second. And what is his name? His name is, oh, his name's Dwayne. Okay, that actually fits him pretty perfectly. And before this kiosk closed, I think I want to buy and wear a quarterback shirt. I have no business. None at all. But it does actually look really good on Leo. He does need to bulk up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It looks like he skips leg day for sure. It looks like the festival is going to be ending in an hour. And if I can be even more honest with y'all, it really wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. It's kind of boring, actually. Oh, wait, we can take a selfie. So maybe I'll do that. I'll just like, you know, take a little take a little picture here, you know, just to say that we did it, I guess. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the perfect pose because it pretty much sums up our experience here. Make Love Day flower cards. During art, Leonardo's class was instructed to create some flower themed cards for each other. After gathering glitter, colored pencils, construction paper, petals, and fun fuzzy pipe cleaners, Leonardo sat down, his creative juices flowing. The cards would be shared and opened with the rest of the class during the party later, so this had to be good. Two themes came to mind. We can create hilarious flower cards or heartfelt ones. I think y'all know that Leo would go with the hilarious version. And now there's a Love Day school party. All week at school, kids have been asking their sweethearts to the annual Love Day school party. There will be cookies and puns music, the exchanging of flowers and cards, and of course, awkward chaperones. Sophia had yet to be asked, so she had two options. We could either go alone or we can invite somebody special. She's going to invite Lucas. Circling back to Leonardo's Love Day cards, it says, who takes Love Day seriously anyways? Those kids with sappy cards were, well, saps, not Leonardo. Everyone who opened his cards had a good laugh. Now Leonardo is considered the funniest kid in school. Who knew Leo could be such a comedian. Things did not end well for Sophia. It took courage. That's what Sophia would have to keep telling herself. The moment she asked that special sim to the love day party was the exact same moment she got shot down. The response no, had been instantaneously and followed by the cruel snickers of her classmates. Oh, Sophia spent the party hiding in the bathroom, embarrassed with a llama cookie, which was delicious but didn't make up for what had just happened. I swear today just keeps getting better and better. Sophia comes home, tells Leo what happened at school. He starts laughing at her and now they're having a brawl right in the middle of the sidewalk for the entire neighborhood to see and Jed is just about to come home home and witness everything. Aaron's calling again and remember when we talked about Kayla uh, I wanted you to know that we went on a very nice date. Congratulations. I really do not freaking care. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure though Sophia whooped his culo so he's feeling a little dazed and confused and bruised. Also we're on level three of the mischief skill now so there are a couple other things at home that we can do to help propel it even further. I hope I'm on the right track with this. I really freaking do. I'm not gonna lie like we didn't make a lot of progress in this episode or we haven't so far but like I'm having so much fun because there's a million other things that we've been doing. Speaking of being rejected on love day we now have a negative relationship with Lucas so I think it's safe to say that Sophia won't be going out on any dates with him anytime soon. Also, Loma has officially aged up and this must be her favorite spot because she's been here all day. She's so freaking cute. I want to get her into creative sim and do uh, like a little 
um, like a little collar or something. And then now all of a sudden, Aaron wants to go out on a date. But can I let you guys in on a little secret? Whatever Aaron's doing with this back and forth thing, I think it's working because Jen is starting to feel a little bit jealous of Kayla to the point where she's actually going to go on this date to a bar while she's pregnant. I don't know what's going on, but hey, maybe we can find out what's going to happen. And he's decided to take us to the caboose. So I'm going to let him feel the baby. We're still in our work clothes. I think we still might be able to grab like a little snack. I thought it said he was Aquarius. I'm like, oh, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Poor Jen. I don't know if you guys saw that, but she is just letting her emotions get the best of her right now. She's so confused. Like, what is going on, Aaron? Like, one minute you act like you're into me, and then in the next moment you're telling me that you're interested in her old co-worker, Kayla. Like, what is it, Aaron? And tell me, what is it? He's still single, but even if he wasn't, would it even matter? I think Jen's gonna reveal a deep secret, and I have no clue what that deep secret is, but we're gonna flirt a little bit and I guess we're gonna try to claim our man. I think we're doing this again just out of pure jealousy. Like we're not actually doing it because we like this dude or are we? Honestly, I, I can't even decide. Who's this? Mateo? Oh my gosh, Mateo. <laughs> Hi. How old are you? Are you old enough? But that's neither here nor there. We're gonna go sit down for a little bit and try to enjoy the rest of our love day. Aaron Schrader wants to take things to the next level. Will Jennifer be his girlfriend? <laughs> Y'all, are you screaming in the comments? Are you screaming? I think we should. We're gonna do it. I think Jen was just caught off guard and she felt kind of pressured because of his interest in Kayla. So she went with it. <laughs> but things are definitely a little awkward. Maybe she'll end up growing to love Aaron. Like, I don't even know how to make sense of this situation. It's so freaking messed up. Oh my God. Jen's feeling really hungry. So I think we're gonna go order some food. We're gonna grab some pita and hummus tapas. Now we really have to call Pablo for a magnitude of reasons, but I think we should probably no, we shouldn't. Why am I? Why do I feel like this obligation to tell him about our relationship and that we're pregnant? It doesn't matter. But we should call him about the kids. We absolutely should do that. I was kind of hoping we could max out the rest of these. I'm gonna do this one, the go on the date because clearly we're on a date with you know Aaron. I had to leave Jennifer and Aaron back at the caboose because I really need to make sure that these kids get all of their tasks done. I don't want them slipping because of, you know, their mom's drama. But when I came back to the lot, I noticed that Hugo had stopped by just to check on Sophia to see how she's doing because obviously, you know, he did hear about what had happened with Luke and he just wanted to make sure that she was uh, doing okay. And for whatever reason, he's leaving sad and defeated. What if he has like a little crush on Sophia? Loma, I just saw that. Why are you over here scratching the couch? We literally have an entire scratch post dedicated to you. And for some reason, you've decided you want to tear up mom's arm couch. Oh, she wants some food. Here's a better look at Loma. I don't know if her eyes are meant to be like bugging out of her head like this, but she's really cute. Like she's super freaking cute. I love her. She also has a very like quirky and destructive personality. So I think she's going to be a little high maintenance. I don't know what kind of collar I would like to give her. I really like this rhinestone collar, but I can't say I'm a huge fan of the purple gems. Maybe we could try out this red one. Are all of these kind of having that hue of purple? I think they are. Maybe what I have to do is just stick with one of these plain black collars and call it a day. For Sophia, I kind of want to give her like a new everyday outfit just to switch things up a little. I kind of feel like Sophia would start to turn I don't know like a little like a little dark for some reason I don't know what it is but I just feel like lately emotions have been so high for her and she just can't handle much else so I'm gonna go and switch it up I'm gonna give her some kind of dark makeup for her outfit I'm not gonna do anything too drastic I guess I just kind of maybe want to go with like a sweatshirt or something mm, particularly a black one something dark something kind of comfy too but also a little bit like lazy uh i kind of like that one but it doesn't really fit the aesthetic that i was going for this one too doesn't really fit either maybe just like a plain black one or actually like this purple one is kind of nice it matches her lipstick i always loved her two-tone socks but maybe we can go for these like little striped ones instead on second thought i'm not really sold on the black sweatshirt i'm actually thinking of maybe giving her a different one i kind of like this off the shoulder gig but i wish there was something just a little 
little bit bigger and kind of more Sophia like because she seems more or less like a very casual type of person. We've got a couple of these little um, like track suits and stuff. I do not know where those came from, but I'm having a really hard time figuring out like a top for her. So maybe what I'll do is I'll actually just go for this top instead. And the last detail I want to change is giving her some black nail polish. Jen could not get any sleep last night. She actually went into labor. So she started having those really intense contractions and Loma decided that they wanted to go and be Oscar the Grouch and play around in the trash can. This cat y'all is more than I ever burned for she is a whole hot mess express super cute like don't let the looks fool you but like she has issues quirks that she needs to work out the only thing is is it's gonna take a little bit of time and patience neither of which I have but we made a commitment and we're just gonna have to stick to it so anyway I think I'm gonna wrap up this part here and in the next episode we will have ourselves a baby y'all can let me know how to handle this Aaron situation what do you think of that relationship should we actually try to make it work with him? And if you could make a little bit of sense as to why Jen wants to chat with Pablo, that would also be really helpful. I noticed that Sophia has been missing her dad and she would also like to talk to him. So that's definitely something um, that I'm going to have her do. In terms of like our aspirations and stuff, we have actually completed a couple of them. You guys are going to probably get mad at me too. I did cheat the Ask a Sim out on a date five times. We did it once. We did it once and I feel like once is enough because we're in a committed relationship and I think the whole idea of this is to like go out with multiple people maybe I'm not exactly sure um but the next thing that we need to try to accomplish is summoning an urban meth so if you know how to do that let me know in the comments down below and I also think that I'm going to kind of revamp um, Sophia's bedroom in the next part because, you know, like her style has changed. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, read, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Give me love. Give me all your love. Oh, because I want you. Makes me feel this way